Hey there, wonderful, fabulous you. It is a privilege once again to be with you today. Now in this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you three familiar yet destructive statements that you should never ever say about yourself. So if you wanna find out what they are, stay tuned, it's coming right up. We are closer, closer than before. Welcome to your wonderful, fabulous life. My name is Rhonda Crawford, and today I want to share with you three very familiar but also very destructive statements that we want to make up in our mind to absolutely remove from our vocabulary and never ever say again about ourselves. And that is because the statements that I want to share with you are statements that end up fueling self-limiting beliefs and self-limiting behaviors and unfortunately, they end up being excuses straight from the enemy that kind of get us into this position of feeling okay with quitting on pursuing our dreams and quitting on pursuing growth and really releasing the person that God has designed us to be. Now, if you've made any of the statements that I'm going to share with you, not to worry because I've been there many, many times myself, believe me. But I'm also going to share with you what to say instead so that we replace these destructive statements with statements that bring life and bring God's best into what we want to see come to pass in our lives. So here we go. So the first thing that we should never say about ourselves is this. This is just how I am. I'm never going to change. And you know, we get to the place of making that statement because we recognize qualities and characteristics in ourselves that we know are not in line with who we've been created to be. And so we go on this quest to try to change. We go on this quest to get better in certain areas and to change what we do and how we do it and what we say and how we say it. And unfortunately, we end up failing and getting to this place of disappointment with ourselves. So we just feel like, you know what, I just might as well accept it. I'm always gonna be like this. But you know what, I wanna let you in on something. The best way to change yourself is to do this, to stop trying to change yourself. And that is because the starting point for transformation, the starting point for change, the starting point for self-discovery in your life is a vibrant, growing, and healthy relationship with the one who created you, with our Father God. That is the starting point for transformation. See, the process of transformation and change works like this. God reveals who he is to you, and then he reveals who you are to you. See, it is the work of the Holy Spirit that lives on the inside of you when you receive Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior that now takes you to a place of releasing and revealing that person that you were created to be more and more and more as you yield to his promptings and his guidance and his instructions. It's not the work of your own efforts trying to live up to a certain standard or what you're gonna make sure you don't say or don't say or do or don't do. It is something that we cannot do in and of ourselves. It's something that we have to completely be reliant on the Holy Spirit to work out in us because he has the power by his grace to do it. So instead of saying, you know what, this is just how I am, I will never change, I wanna encourage you to say this instead. Father, I know in and of myself, I cannot change anything about me. So I just yield my life. I yield these areas to you. I thank you for revealing yourself to me and revealing me to me and helping me to be the person you've created me to be. So the second thing that we should never say about ourselves is this, I'm to this, or I'm not enough that. I'm too old, I'm too young, I'm too quiet, I'm too loud, I don't have enough money, I don't have enough education, I don't know enough people. These are all self-limiting statements that keep us in a position where we're unable to really see God's power operate in our lives. And we want to absolutely erase this statement from 
our vocabulary. You know, there's something about a dream worth having. There's something about an aspiration to live at a higher quality and standard of life, the life that God has designed for you to live. There's something about that pull and about that desire that opens up the door for every impossibility of why it can't happen for you to come face to face and challenge you to quit and to turn back and to just forget about pursuing it. But on the other side of these limiting beliefs is your dream. On the other side of these limiting beliefs is that standard and that quality, the real you waiting for you to press through and break through on the other side. And it's calling to you. Even if we get to the place where we allow discouragement to cause us to stop, in the night, in the times when we are just contemplating and thinking about our lives, it calls to us, it beckons us. It's saying, hey, I'm still here. I haven't gone anywhere. You can have me if you'll do what it takes to get through this thing that's trying to get you to quit. So instead of allowing our heads to be filled up with thoughts, about why we can't have what is in our heart to pursue, why we can't be who God created us to be, why we can't do the things that God has created us to do. We want to say this instead. Father, the ideal situation may not be at present manifesting itself for me to pursue this thing in my heart, but I thank you that your grace is all I need. Your grace makes up the difference for wherever there is a weakness, wherever there is a lack, wherever the ideal circumstance may not exist. So the third thing that we should never say about ourselves is this. You know what? I really think there's something wrong with me. <laughs> and you know what? We get to that place of making that statement because maybe we've made a mistake or we've had a thought and we think if anybody knows what I was just thinking or if anybody knows what I just did or what I just said to that person, they are going to run in the complete opposite direction. They're going to desert me. Nobody's going to want to be around me if they really knew the real me. So then we try to fix this feeling that, you know, something's wrong with us by amassing possessions or trying to get certain achievements or have certain relationships with certain people who we feel will make us feel better about this feeling that, you know what, something may be wrong with me and it never works. We end up back at square one the next time a big challenge comes up and we end up with that same thought, that same statement, something's wrong with me. Can I let you in on a little secret? Every one of us has shortcomings and quirks and things that have happened in our past and other things that we are not the most proud of, but yet God's view of us is not based on our doing, but it's based on our being, who he's created us to be. So instead of coming to the place of saying, you know what? there's something wrong with me. We really need to recognize that despite all of our quirkiness, despite our weirdness, God chose us knowing exactly who we are, knowing our story, knowing our mess ups and mistakes of the past, knowing what we're gonna do in the future, knowing the relationships that we've had, knowing the way we think. So he doesn't see us as these little people with all these things that are wrong with them that he just has to be grudgingly help to fix so that he can, you know, stand for them, to, for us to be in his presence. He doesn't look at us that way and he's not expecting for us to look at us that way. So instead of saying, you know what, there's something wrong with me, say this, you know what, my shortcomings and the things that I do do not define who I am. I am God's workmanship. I am his masterpiece and God does not make junk and I will accomplish everything that he's planned for me to do from the beginning of time on this earth. So I trust that as you remove the destructive things we talked about from your vocabulary and replace them with the life-giving statements that we talked about that you're going to be able to see some real confidence build on the inside and really let out the you you were created to be 
I'm trusting that this was of value to you. So please like, share, and comment, and we'll look to see you next week. Be blessed. Take